Hello everyone, thank you for checking out my channel and welcome to another tech series. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to another tech series. For today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a table of contents automatically, okay? But before that, I'd like to remind you that under our previous video, I've shown you how to work with styles in Microsoft Word, okay? So I've discussed there how to use the title, the heading, the subtitle, and how to insert, create your own styles and modify the existing style. Okay? So, yun yung kailangan natin para makapag-create tayo ng table of contents automatically. So, if hindi mo pa napapanood yun, you better watch it first before kayo pumunta dito. Okay? Now, in creating table of contents, we have to make sure po that we use the styles in Microsoft Word. For example, we have here the title of our document. Kasi meron akong sample dito na research paper. Alright? Meron akong research paper sample dito. Pero I'd like to bring this up before na hindi ko pa alam kung paano gumawa ng table of contents automatically. I used to manipulate my table of contents. Paano ko ginagawa yon? Okay? So, dati, ganito yung ginagawa ko. Ayan. If I want to have a table of contents... Halimbawa, meron akong introduction. Then, dati, ang ginagawa ko ay manipulation. Like, nagawa ako ng series of periods. Then, at the end of this period, eh, andan yung page, which is, let's say, 2. Scope. Then, ayan, mano-mano yung paggawa natin dati, right? I know na some of you can relate dito. So now, I'm gonna teach you kung paano automatically gumawa ng table of contents na with the various clicks. Okay? So, let's go back here. Balik tayo dito. Ngayon, uh, we have to make sure po that we use styles sa lahat ng mga heading natin. For example, we have here the chapter 1. Okay? So, uh, gamitin natin sa chapter 1 yung heading style. So, let's say, siya si heading 1. Okay? And of course, we have to reformat uh, the style of this um, heading one. Okay? Of course, we have to comply with the requirements ng ating research paper or ng ating document. Okay? So, to modify the style, right-click the style, click modify, then ano ba yung requirement natin? Ano ba yung required font face or font styles and font sizes, okay? So, in my case, it's Arial and size 12 only. And of course, change uh, the font color into black. Then, let's say my first or the title or my first heading, gusto ko, it, it will appear at the center of the page. Okay, so click uh, center align and I'd like it to have a space uh, before the line and after the line. Before and after the line. Okay? So, after that, click OK. Ayan. Parang wala lang pinagbago, no? Parang wala lang pinagkaiba kanina. Kasi nga, uh, we use modification to the style. And the second one is that, of course, if your title uh, ginamit mo is heading 1, sunod naman ay heading 2. Now, gamitin natin yung heading 2. And modify din kung ano yung format nito. Of course, same lang siya. Arial. Then size 12. And color. Font color is black. Then gusto ko nasa center din siya. And meron siyang space. Before and after the line. And press OK. Now, ayan. Gumamit na tayo ng dalawang heading. Now, let's say our heading here. Create natin siya sa heading 3. Okay. 
Then modify, of course, dapat same lang yung font sizes niya and font style. So Arial, then font size 12, and weight to uh, font color black. Then gusto ko siya nasa left align. And of course, meron siyang space before and after the line. And press OK. Ayan, so meron na tayo. As you can see po, ay madaming, masyado madaming space between your second heading and the heading 3. So, clear lang natin tong space to. Para at least same lang siya. Okay? Now, that's the first step. Okay? Now, the second step is you have to make sure that same headings comes with the same style. So, kung ginamit mo dito sa your title ay heading 1, then sa ta subtitle is heading 2, then your ta uh, heading, you used heading 3. So, lahat ng heading mo would be heading 3, and lahat ng subtitle mo would be heading 2, and lahat ng title mo would be heading 1. Okay? So, hanapin natin, ano pa ba yung mga similar dito? So, hanapin ko yung heading 3 natin, similar sa kanya. And go over, yeah, ito. Statement of the problem. For example, I know uh, we have different documents na ginagamit. So if you have a research paper on your hand or your, or in your desktop, can you use that to practice? Ano? Pero kung wala, you can make uh, any content on your document. Okay? So highlight lang natin siya. Ano yung ginamit natin dito? It's heading 3. Okay? So hanapin natin yung mga similar na heading. Ayan. For example, the assumptions of study and heading 3 siya. Kasi same lang siya ng introduction natin. Heading 3 din. Then clear natin yung mga spaces. Hindi naman kailangan. Okay? Then, lastly is ito. So, now, the next step is, if you already identified po the same headings na kailangan may mga same styles, eh, we're good. Okay? Tapos na tayo. Ngayon, if you have here chapter 2, let's say you have here chapter 2. Of course, ano yung ginamit natin na style for chapter 2? Yun din yung gagamitin natin dito, which is heading 1. Ayan, automatically po, whatever the format of our heading or style, lahat na po siya applied doon sa ibang same style. Okay? So, proceed tayo. So, we're done na sa process natin. And after that process, eh, that's the time na gagawa na tayo ng table of content. Okay? So, make sure lang na gumamit tayo ng styles. Kasi kung hindi, hindi magiging successful yung table of contents natin. Okay? So, paano ba gamitin yung table of contents? Of course, first, you have to go to the references tab. So, click the references tab. Then, there, makikita mo yung table of contents. Andito sa leftmost part ng yung ribbon. Okay? So, click lang natin, table of contents. Then, hanap tayo ng style na gusto natin. Like, content, uh, table 1, table 2, or depende doon sa requirement natin. Let's say, gamitin natin tong table 1. So, click lang natin. After we click this um, built-in table, automatically po our um, content or the heading po will be shown and will be executed. Okay? So, click ko lang siya and that's it. Makikita mo na siya. Your chapter 1 is located in page 2, the problem setting, same page, and so on. So, with just a various clicks, eh, automatically we created po table of contents. Okay? So, nakikita natin yan. Hindi na tayo nagmano-manong insert ng table natin. Okay? So, now, if you want to update this according to um, your requirements or, or your document requirements, okay, you have to highlight lang this. Highlight all this. Then, of course, kung Arial yung kailangan mo, the Arial, size 12, then you have to modify lang the content. And, okay. Yan. Meron ka ng content na similar doon sa gusto mong gawin. Okay. So, meron tayo itong update table. So, kailan ito nag-work ng update table? 
let's say you have a modification down here. Let's say pinutan mo to ng chapter 3. Okay? You change uh, your title into chapter 3. And makikita mo dito eh still ganun pa din yung style niya or content niya as to your previous content. So all you have to do is to click inside then click update button or update table. So if we click, uh, when we click this button, automatically po um, update entire table. So meaning whatever po na nandito na content natin would be reflected here. Okay? So instead na chapter 1 yan, naging chapter 3 and change natin to Arial. So every time po na meron tayong babaguhin in our content. So we have to make sure that we click this button, the update table, para makuha natin whatever update that we made in our content. Okay? So that's how you create table of contents in just a various click. So forget uh, the manual transactions, the manipulation na ginagawa mo before. But now, you've learned how to create table of contents automatically and with ease. Okay? Another technique is, let's say you have multiple pages in your document. And it's hard for you to scroll down, scroll up, para mahanap yung lahat ng mga headings mo and sections. So I'll give you something. Go to your view tab. And then, go to the show group. Then, click the navigation page. And uh, makikita mo dito sa left part of your document, the navigation. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, whenever you want to go places, like to your introduction or to your headings, all you have to do is to click on your heading. Let's say... I want to go to the scope and delimitation. So instead of scrolling down para makapunta ka doon, all you have to do is to provide the navigation tab, then click on the topic you wanted to go. For example, the scope and delimitation, and click that, click on the scope and delimitation tab, and automatically you'll be directed to there. Okay? And if you want to go back to the introduction, then click introduction and there you go. Okay? That's one tip para mas mapabilis yung process natin. So thank you so much and I hope you learned something today. Thank you!